gym it's like 5 15 right now so good morning you guys welcome back to another vlog bring you guys along a healthy day in my life today Honestly, waking up and going to the gym at this time is not terrible in the summertime or when daylight savings happens just because it gets so bright out early so you don't feel like you're going to the gym in the middle of the night, you know, and you're extra tired. Honestly, I didn't even have the best, best sleep. My nose was just like so itchy, but we got to do what we got to do because I have a busy day today and I have appointments. So the gym now is a must. We're going to do chest and triceps, get a quick, good workout in. And I think these bananas should be good to take. So let's put our shoes on. quick outfit i'm wearing this essentials shirt and some biker shorts and i'm gonna make myself some breakfast a big yummy breakfast and finally i got some stuff the other day from the market for my gut healthy mornings because i desperately needed to restock on them so i'm gonna probably finish the kombucha today okay so taking care of my gut is something that i prioritize every single day not just once a week so one of the healthy choices that i'm going to be having this morning is kombucha it's really good because it has probiotics which support your gut and I drank half yesterday, so I'm gonna finish this up while I make my breakfast. Cheers. This flavor is one of my favorites. Gingerade. Well, not one of my favorites. It is my favorite because I haven't tried any other flavor. But it's so good and so refreshing. Let's see if any of these avocados are ready for today. I also want to show you guys what I'm eating today. So it'll be, you know, good healthy meals that I eat. But also balance. It's all about balance. You know, I try to make healthier choices, especially with my diet and trying to heal my body and my skin. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I eat so this is step one and we had the banana on the way to the gym so when I'm making my eggs I've been using avocado oil I'm actually almost out of this this is the avocado spray oil because for healthy fats this is really good instead of just using regular oil or also butter so I've just been using this for my eggs and just trying to make sure I'm getting protein in for every single meal also getting in my fiber healthy fats things like that so it's really important to do those things and especially for protein especially because i work out but not only that it's good for balancing your hormones your blood sugar levels and everything that i've been learning so i've just been really trying to be better at you know making sure i'm eating good filling meals oh my gosh i'm out of spinach no i have a little left spinach is such an easy thing to throw into so many different meals if you're trying to get in your greens and you know i feel like spinach is the perfect way to start so i just let this sit here saute for a second before i crack the egg in it but this with eggs perfect also if you add it into a smoothie you don't even taste the spinach get spinach i get baby spinach and it's just so easy to add into literally anything and everything and you can do it in multiple meals if i had extra of this i probably would have added it to my lunch today as well so there you go
Breakfast is all ready. Threw in half of an avocado there for also some more healthy fats. We got the scramble with spinach, everything with the bagel seasoning. And then the rice cakes, which I'm almost out of this, so I might pick up a new one today. I'm gonna eat right here while I finish this YouTube video or while I finish my breakfast. And it's so nice. Open up the balcony door so just the screen is there so no bugs come in. But it's so nice to just let in fresh air and then obviously the sunlight is just really nice. So I'm just loving this morning routine. Honestly, for the summertime, it's so peaceful, so relaxing. I actually vlogged the morning routine, which should already be up, so go check it out. I'm now on the way to my wax appointment, so I love this drive honestly. I love this moment where I just have appointments or things and I'm running errands by myself. I feel so accomplished and I feel extra productive that I'm doing it alone. Anybody else feel the same way? But also it's just a form of self-care because I just play my favorite music, sing, enjoy the weather, enjoy the sun, and it's just a vibe. So I kind of live for these days where I'm just running errands and getting appointments done even if they're not maybe the most fun appointments but it's self-care nonetheless so let's go get this wax appointment done and then i need to run to whole foods and let's see if they even have my milk today everyone loves the malt brand so i mean i can't be mad at it but i can't be mad because i haven't had milk you know what i mean so Hopefully, fingers crossed, because today is Tuesday, so I didn't go yesterday because if they didn't have it Sunday, I was like, okay, what are the chances maybe on a Monday? So maybe Tuesday, a little random day, fingers crossed that they have my milk because I really want a matcha, which I was, I mean, I made matcha just with water yesterday and it was fine, but you know, a little matcha latte with my milk hits different too. This for me i'm actually early for once honestly to my appointment every time i come i'm usually i swear i make it just within the two to three minute range and i'm a whole 12 minutes early so love that not stressed because they're very very strict with you cannot be more than seven minutes late you need to be on time which i totally get gotta do what you gotta do so it's funny that i'm always like two minutes early right before my appointment so it's like a breath a fresh air i could just chill for a couple minutes and then go inside and then i'll be done within honestly 10 minutes or so it's really not long at all do we think they're gonna have it or is this gonna be a waste of my time again Bro. Okay, I just asked if they have any in the back because they have nothing. So we'll see. Oh my gosh, guys. Secured. I literally grabbed two when he came with the box because there's no way. I'm so happy I asked. Thank goodness. Because if I didn't ask, I would have just walked out and didn't know they had. So always ask. Literally, if you're in the market and they don't have, just double check to see if they have it in the back. Especially if you've already gone and this is like your second time going. So now I stocked up on two so freaking happy you guys i can't wait to make i think oh, i wanted to make an iced matcha but i don't think i have even ice cubes ready for that so that's a bummer i'm now gonna go get some stuff for the beach tomorrow we're going to the beach so i'm just gonna get the chips the pineapple chunks and i think that's it i need to make ground i'm gonna make ground turkey later and then see if my mom can make potato salad because that's what we usually bring and guys can you believe oh my gosh so story time so the other day me and my boyfriend were go we went to trader joe's and he picked out this fruit nectarines or whatever they look really really small apples to be honest that's what they look like to me and i tasted like ever so slightly the tiniest little like little itsy bitsy bite of it and honestly tastes like an apple to me anyway my boyfriend literally had an allergic reaction to those so bad his eyes were completely super swollen and he got hives all over his body. It was kind of scary, honestly. That was like his first time having an, a, re a reaction to something like that. Time to make some matcha. I've been waiting for this moment. Ideally, well, it's kind of nice and chill in here because we have the AC on, so it's fine that I'm not having an iced matcha. Oh, I also have to heat up the water. I'm like, something looks weird. You'd also heat up the water to put the powder and whisk it all together perfect and i know i said earlier also these are the peak life matcha packets 
Also, I was just telling you guys in the car and I got things to prep for the beach, but we actually are gonna go, I think, Saturday. So instead, I'm gonna be going shopping tomorrow to get some stuff for vacation. I really just ideally wanna get maybe a dress or something for nighttime. I already have a dress at home that I really like that I haven't worn before, so I'm excited about that one. And I also wanna get sandals. Here's the deal for lunch. So for lunch, we're having leftovers. Yesterday, we went to get this bowl from this Mediterranean spot. So I have a good amount of leftovers, which I'm very excited about to have this right now. So it's brown rice with chicken, lentils, lemon roasted potatoes, and a little bit of hummus on the side that I just kind of mix in there. And it's delicious. So I'm gonna heat this up. And then after this, I need to kind of hurry up because my appointment is soon. So after this, I'll pretty much be on my way. My boyfriend's gonna have the same thing, except he doesn't get lentils. And I was just doing a little bit of work on my computer and also for TikTok. So I just posted TikToks, I believe. I batched a lot of videos, which I like to do. So once I do that, it's just about editing them. So make sure you follow me on every platform to support me. And then for snack later on today, we're gonna have maybe probably share half of this muffin. This is from Trader Joe's. They're gluten-free double chocolate muffins. Super good, super moist, delicious. I approve and I'm not a super chocolatey type of person. It doesn't look the most appetizing, but trust me, it'll keep me full until dinner time and that's the best we don't i don't know if we have any snacks that i'm gonna have later actually i see mango i forgot we bought that so maybe i'll have mango as a little snack later on after my appointment like a mid-afternoon type of thing not gonna lie guys i'm kind of nervous i don't know every time i go to the doctors i'm just always like just want to get it done with <laughs> but it's really freaking hot outside I'm not even kidding my boyfriend just cut me up some mango, so I'm gonna enjoy this and while I post a YouTube short. The lighting's a bit funky or yellow because I have this light on because it started downpouring. I made it home, guys, for my appointment just in time. I'm not even kidding you. I'm talking thunder and lightning. They said it was going to happen and now it's kind of clear out and it's not gonna rain tomorrow. It was just like a really quick, random thunderstorm. It went well. Everything is good. Honestly, though, it took me a long time, not gonna lie. I waited for the doctor for quite a bit after seeing the nurse you know when they do your vitals after i saw her i felt like i was waiting for so long and i was just sitting there not on my phone because this is my first time actually seeing doc uh this doctor it's a new doctor and so i was not being on my phone while i was waiting because i just didn't want to be you know if she, she walks in and i'm on my phone i just didn't want to do that so i was just sitting there lolly la super nervous super anxious because i just hate being i just wanted to get it over with like i was telling you loved her really really loved her i love when i just find a good doctor honestly that's everything i need is i just need to like them and it just it went well and she was the best so i'm really happy about that so like i said i'm gonna have some mango also guys i need freaking help figuring out what nails i'm gonna do for vacation so after i do this i'll show you guys the options that i'm working with i also want to do some online browsing uh, see if i could find a dress or two or like two night outfits or something because i already have two secured i don't like going to the mall fun fact i don't love going to the mall so i like to browse online especially if i'm gonna go in to try to get something because i don't want to order it's like a little too late for that type of thing <laughs> dinner so for me and my boyfriend we have pork chops with some peppers onions rice and then a little bit of the avocado that was left over from my breakfast this morning my mom made this for us so i'm really excited to eat typically i try not to have if i'm gonna have rice for lunch i won't have that for dinner as well but today is an exception and because i just had a leftover lunch that i had to obviously finish eating i wasn't gonna let that sit there and that was also brown rice so it's fine we're eating good today and i'm excited we're gonna eat and watch impractical jokers and we love this show it's literally makes us crack up like literally crack up okay guys these were the nail options i was thinking for vacation i don't know if it's picking up on camera but a classic french or this with the orange tip if you want to vote for these type of things follow me on instagram by the way i just showered so i feel nice and fresh and typically i would drink tea right now but it's already almost 9 30 and i want to get ready for bed right now we actually ended up hanging out with a friend for a little bit so just too late but i would typically have this every single night after dinner it's ginger turmeric tea and i get this from whole foods this is the one 
one I get. Really good for inflammation. Another tea that I really like as well. So sometimes I'll do this during the day and then this at night or this at night. It just really depends on my mood or whatever. If I'm getting my period, sometimes I'll do this traditional medicinals spearmint tea. So this is really good. But I'm just turning off the lights. And I just feel like I had a really good day today. And although we're not going to the beach tomorrow, I'll just have a productive day, get everything done, and we're gonna go to the beach this weekend. And what I love to do now is just watch something that I enjoy that's gonna like make me laugh or it's just something I enjoy before bed. So you just go to sleep happy and you just knock out. I will see you all in my next video.